I knew him as Solus. Smart, thoughtful, loved to hear himself talk. But long ago, he had a different name. The Dreadwolf. Ancient elven god of lies, or heroic rebel against tyranny, depending on which story you believe. In his desperate fight against the corrupt elven gods, Solus imprisoned them, creating a veil that split our world from the raw magic of the Fade. He had won. But the veil cost the elves everything. Their magic, their freedom, even their immortality. Now, Solus wants to tear down that veil and undo the damage he caused. Even if that means our world has to burn. Somebody's gotta stop him. And that's where you come in. E aí? Aqui é o Zangado, e como vocês estão hoje, espero que bem, jovens, hoje lhes trago o novo Dragon Age. Agradeço aí a EA pela cópia do jogo. Então, bora lá, sem enrolar, já dá o like pra valorizar o vídeo e o trabalho feito no canal, não custa nada, lembrando que o tio vai editar para o vídeo ficar mais dinâmico, então, deixa rolar, na verdade já está rolando. Bom, eu tô aqui na tela de customização... Onde a gente vai escolher linhagem, aparência e dar aquela modificada. Na edição eu vou dar uma acelerada aqui para não perder muito tempo. E simbora! So, where were we? Oh, right. Him. Our best plan is to stop the Dreadwolf before he can perform his ritual. After following his trail across half the known world, we finally tracked him to Manrathus, capital of the Tevinter Imperium. But to find the Dreadwolf in a city this big, we need a local expert. So, naturally, our story begins where all great stories begin. With the seediest bar in town. And a missing contact. Let's try this again. Where's Nev Gallus? You think you can come into my bar and make demands? It's not a demand, it's an offer. Telling me what I need to know is, is the smart play here. How'd you figure, sweet talker? Nev Gallus is my only shot at finding the Dreadwolf. I need to know where she is. We were supposed to meet here, in your bar. But you let Venatory cultists drag her away. I didn't let them. They paid me. So answer my questions and walk away with the coin. 
or spend it cleaning up the place when I'm through. Your choice. You're adorable. Dumad Plaza. That's where you'll find Nev Gallus. Thank you. You want to get yourself killed fighting the Venatori? It's your ass. That offer's good for all of you, too. No? If they won't listen to you, they can always listen to Bianca. Your friend Nev Gallus is at Dumont Plaza. I heard. That's why you're my second in command. Although for the record, you might be too charming for your own good. What did I have to worry about? You were there watching my back. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Harding will be worried. All right. Break's over. I hope Nev's as good at finding people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. The Archon's Palace. Something must have gotten them riled up. Yep. Começou. Should we be in more of a hurry to get out of here? We don't want to look conspicuous. Just get out of here nice and casual. Find Nev Gallus and stop Solas. Esse é um jogo que tem muitos diálogos, então eu vou ter poucos espaços para poder falar. You still think you can talk him down before he starts his big ritual? That ritual is going to tear down the veil. The only thing separating us from the Fade and an endless number of demons. I have to talk him down. Wait! But I didn't do anything! Get down! Are they after us? Is it because of the bar? Word travels fast in Minrathus. We've got to help her. We don't have time to get arrested, especially if we... Solus before it finishes. Let's go. Parting's this way. She'll get us to Dumont Plaza. Then Nev will get us to Solus. Watch out! É legal a cidade aqui. Solus summoning demons on purpose. My guess is the veil is weakening, and they're slipping through the cracks. When the veil comes down completely, then the whole world is going to look a lot like this. Come on, this way. It should get us to Harding. A premissa é aquela, né, jovens? O mal se aproxima e devemos impedir. Get inside and bar the door as quick as you can, okay? Thank you, miss. Harding, you all right? I've been doing what I can to help. The ritual must be weakening the veil. There are a lot of scared people out here. And a lot of demons. Haven't seen this many come through the fate in years. And what about you two? Are you okay?
Fought some demons, and the Archon's palace took a few shots at us. Nothing we couldn't handle. Speak for yourself. Have you got my gear? Right over there. Where's Nev Gallus? Wasn't she at the meeting point? The Venatori got to her first. They grabbed her before we arrived and paid off the bar owner to keep it quiet. I'm not surprised our detective did something to piss off a cult of murderous blood mages, but their timing stinks. The bar owner said the Venatori took Nev to Dumont Plaza. Can you get us there, Harding? Not a problem. I saw Dumont Plaza while I was scouting the area, and it was crawling with Venatori. Follow me. Eyes up. We've got company. Ah, combate básico agora sim. Começou para valer. Tem ataque leve. Tem esquiva. Tem trava de mira. O jogo ele vai tentar se manter. Vai tentar não, já dá para perceber que se mantém bem fiel aos seus originais. I think that's the last of them. Good. Let's get to Dumont Plaza and find Nev. You two all right? Pat yourselves up if you need it. I don't get it. If Solus tears down the veil, doesn't that destroy everything? You are in violation of Imperial order. Oh no, I think that's Dumont Plaza. Let's move. É um estilo de gameplay bem um padrãozinho de 10 anos atrás, né? Vocês devem se lembrar bem. Quem viveu essa época, aquele formatinho assim, manjado, simplório, mas ainda assim divertido. Bom, jovens, esse jogo vai dar muito o que falar, como vocês sabem bem. Já está dando o que falar e, e, e nem lançou direito. E isso tende a piorar a partir de hoje, no dia que eu for postar esse vídeo aqui, que é, acho que é no dia 31 que eu vou postar. Para começo de conversa, eu recebi antecipado, né? Mas não muito antecipado. É um jogo aí que para se zerar a campanha. É, eu chuto que é entre 30 e 50 horas. Um 100%, diria 70, 80 horas. Para um 100%. Talvez um pouco menos, mais 5, 10 horas a menos que esse valor, mas algo em torno disso. E eu recebi antecipado, mas não antecipado o suficiente para postar análise um dia depois do lançamento. Eu vou precisar de pelo menos de 7 a 10 dias depois do lançamento oficial para conseguir postar análise, tá? Tem vídeo dos outros Dragon Age aqui no canal, mas são vídeos muito antigos. Aquele, aquela imagem 4K negativo e aquele áudio de banheiro, mas tem. Solus. 
Nev meet Rook. Harding and I found him a while back. Thought we could use an expert on trouble. Rook, like the chess piece? One of the strongest pieces on the board, but he tends to think in straight lines. We came prepared for a rescue. Looks like you were way ahead of us. A rescue? You're sweet. You said you had a lead? I haven't seen Solus in person, but I did find hints of old magic, similar to what you get in elven ruins. I traced it to a building beneath Our Lady of Victory. That's where your man is hiding. Then let's go, before this ritual he's doing gets any worse. Worse? This ritual's already drawing more power than I'd expect from a dozen mages. You told me he was working alone. I also told you he was an ancient elven god. An elven god? Well, whatever he is, he's causing trouble in my city. Let's go. If we do catch Solus, or the Dread Wolf, whatever he calls himself, what's the plan? He wants to bring down the veil. Hopefully that ritual takes his full attention. So we catch him while he's doing his ritual, so he can't fight us. That's the hope. If it comes to a straight up fight, we're dead. Pois é, esse jogo vai dar o que falar. Não adianta, vai ter aquela guerrinha nos comentários. Em tudo quanto é lugar, nas redes sociais, aonde esse jogo foi postado. Vai ter pessoas discutindo e brigando. Hoje é assim, né? Hoje tá assim. As pessoas brigavam ali nos vídeos de política. Agora estão brigando muito mais do que costumavam brigar em, em postagem de jogos. Então, esse jogo aqui vai ser pauta pra briga. Pra discussão, pra xingamento, pra bloqueio. É simples assim. on the entrance. I can get it. Vai, mulher. So this is the Dread Wolf's hideout. One of them at least. Not sure how long he's been here. Some of this looks ancient. Solus has been around longer than Menrathus itself. Broken chains. Solus is freeing slaves. Solus hates slavery. One of the few things we actually agreed on. He said the other elven gods were tyrants who oppressed his people. He was trying. What do you see? No sign of Solus. Just a big glowing window or mirror or something. Well, that sounds ominous. O gráfico é agradável, né? Mas não é nova geração nem de longe. 
Ancient elves doing something to a dragon, I think. Yeah. Trying to control it, maybe? Zola said the other elves. More demons. As animações faciais até lembram os Dragon Ages antigos, cara. A forma com que os personagens se posicionam durante as conversas, assim, são bem estáticos, assim, fazem o mínimo de movimentos possíveis. Let's look around. Air is full of magic. Solus used a lot of power for something. Solus, the Dreadwolf, Ben Harrell. He's got a lot of names. I always called him Chuckles. Eu tô andando com três NPCs, mas Provavelmente eu vou andar só com dois, tá? Que é o padrão, né? A gente vai ter os nossos companheiros, nossos companheiros, nossos amigos que a gente vai conhecendo, montando laços, amizades, é, construindo relacionamentos amorosos ou não. Eles podem morrer também, dependendo das escolhas. Mas o normal é andar com dois. Tô andando com três porque isso aqui é o tutorial, né? This the big glowing window you saw earlier, Rook. It's called an Illuvian. They're elven and very old. It acts like a doorway from one place to another. Solus uses them to get around quickly. He must have gone through it. Eu imagino que a gente vai rever vários NPCs conhecidos da saga, não só o Varric, mas muitos outros também. I know these trees. This is Arlathan Forest. And there's your ritual. The power involved. I've never seen anything like it. The tremors are getting worse. And we've got demons. A Morrigan provavelmente, né, que ela é muito icônica na saga, mas talvez o Zevran, sei. O problema é lembrar dos detalhes, né, cara? Quantos anos passam desde o último Dragon Age pra lembrar com exatidão a história e precisão da ordem dos fatos, assim? Eu pensei que os demônios eram ruins, lá em Minrathus. Os fades são um mess this close to the ritual. Não sei o que come through.
Outra coisa que lembra também é Fable, né? Eu imagino que o novo Fable vai ser nesse formatinho aqui e com esse gráfico aqui também, tá? Uma boss fight. O jogo não vai ser mundo aberto, tá? Ele vai seguir a, a fórmula dos anteriores, assim. Vão ser cenários exatamente como esses que a gente está jogando aqui. Você entra no mapa com uma missão principal ou uma secundária grande. Aí você explora esse mapa no estilo corredor. Tem algumas ramificações para esconder textos, itens, baús, né? Para explorar 100% ali do mapa, mas é de fácil exploração. Aí os puzzles seriam a forma de acessar esse baú, de destrancar essa porta, você pegar esses itens a mais. Você vai revisitar alguns mapas para fazer secundárias, também é esperado. E... Vão ter aqueles mapas, aquela, aqueles locais que serão semi-abertos. São mapas um pouco mais extensos, mas ainda em formato corredor, com secundárias para se fazer e principais. Grandes cidades e grandes regiões vão ser divididas por loadings. Não vai dar para você ir a pé para chegar até lá. Vai ter sempre uma viagem rápida, um portal, alguma coisa. All right. I'll take it from here. Are you sure? Positive. You three just keep the demons off me while I talk to him. Varric, Solus isn't gonna stop just because an old friend asks nicely. Solus needs someone to sell him another option, to help him justify changing his mind. Come on, Varric. We didn't come all this way just to talk to him. He was my friend, Rook. I gotta try to reach him. But if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. More demons! Rook, take care of the team for me. Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. Let's buy him some time. Is getting through to Solus. 
Better talk fast. We can't hold these demons off forever. <laughs> is a wound inflicted upon this world, it must be healed. By drowning the world in demons? I have taken precautions to minimize the damage, Varric. Minimize the... People are dying right now. You need to listen. Dying. It is what they do. Oh, shit. We need a better plan. Do you want me to take the shot? Won't work. He's too powerful. What if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up, the whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. Interrupting a ritual at this scale will have consequences. And what about the demons? Varric needs us to hold them off. Right. You two stay here. I'll bring down the statue. What? No. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. The storm could tear you apart. Anyone got a better idea? Fine. But you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. Let's go, Harding. Nev, keep the demons off us. You got it. Como faz parte desse estilo de jogo, essas consequências, essas decisões que a gente vai tomando, vai gerando aprovação e desaprovação dos nossos companheiros com relação às coisas. Então, geralmente, quando você faz a escolha de quem são os dois que você vai levar para a missão, eles vão observar o que está acontecendo, as decisões que você vai tomar naquele momento, e vão aprovar ou desaprovar, fora que, enquanto você explora, esses dois escolhidos vão conversar entre eles. Eu duvido muito que tenha mais quantidade de diálogos que o Dragon Age Origins. Mas duvido muito mesmo, tá? some other better option the pillar's weak but it isn't falling we need to push it i'm with you together now you came a long way and made a valiant effort varic but this story does not end with my downfall push yeah.
You have no idea what you have done. Soulless. I know what I did. I stopped you from destroying the world. I was not destroying the world! When you disrupted my ritual, the magical energies pulled me here, into the Fade. Okay, so that's why you're here. But why am I here? Your physical body is unconscious, but you shed a few drops of blood at the ritual site. Enough for a tenuous connection. Blood magic? Firstly, I abhor the use of blood magic. Secondly, had I the power to control you, I would already have used it. So all I had to do to get away from you was wake up. And how much experience do you have willing yourself from sleep to wakefulness? Can't be that hard. While you practice, perhaps you would like to hear about the consequences of your actions. Meaning? The Evanurus. Or as you would call them, the Elven Gods. The creatures that escaped. In ancient times, they ruled the Elves, but that was not enough. They sought not just to be obeyed, but to be worshipped. When I rebelled, they drew on the horrific magic of the Blight. Corrupting all they saw until I trapped them. Thanks to you, though, I am now trapped. And the blighted elven gods walk free. How am I supposed to trust anything you're saying? You saw them escape from my prison. I also saw you bringing down the veil. I had a plan. Varric always said you'd have a big explanation for why none of this was your fault. Varric? Yeah, he said that's your style. Never quite lies, clever half-truths that let you convince yourself you're doing the right thing. He tried to talk to you anyway, and now he's hurt. Varric is... ...quite practiced at shading the truth himself. So those things that got out, you said they were gods? They said they were gods. Blighted, tyrannical, sadistic gods. It took all my power to imprison them millennia ago, but I am certain you will be fine. How bad are we talking here? Their power outstripped my own even before they embraced the corruption of the Blight. But you did imprison them. Through trickery. I also had a ritual dagger of pure Lyrian, and a network of mirrors to take me from the lighthouse across the world. I don't have either of those. Well then, I expect you will be busy. Elganan and Gilanain are your problem to solve. This is your responsibility now. Why? Why tear down you the veil? You want me to take the shot? No! you have done. This is your responsibility now. Well, look who's still with us. Varric? You're okay, but I saw Solus stab you. You fell. Trust me, kid. I've had worse, and it take more than a flesh wound to stop me. <coughs> Don't think I'll be making it out to the field anytime soon, though. I should have come up with a better plan. I should have... You worked with what you had. And you succeeded, by the way. World isn't drowning in demons. It isn't over, though. We trapped Solus in the Fade, but something else got out. Something... Rook, you've got this. I've seen your work. Like that time you ditched your orders for a better strategy during a Darkspawn attack. There's a reason I dragged you into this whole Solus mess. You're clever, adaptable, and you don't know when to quit. Rook? You're awake. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to barge in. I was just looking for Alfred. No, it's, it's fine. I was just going to stretch my legs. Oh, Rook. Watch your step out there. If you put a foot wrong, you'll fall forever. 
Yeah, on top of everything else, the Illuvian took us to the Fade. A place where dreams come from, so... That. Yeah. Then I really need to look around. Yeah, you should. And we should talk about things. Maybe find Nev. She's outside, looking around. There's a room with a table down the stairs. I'll meet you there. Go ahead, Rook. Me. I need to sleep. See you later, kid. Beleus. Acho que a gente completou o capítulo 1. Um. I wish I could Itens bônus. Se você é um burguês, você ganhou item bônus, né? Essa edição é a edição especialzinha, então... Eu sou burguês safado, aí ele no baú deve ter umas coisas. Esse baú aqui, ó. Ó, ó pipocando ali, ó. Só isso? Ah. Ah. Ó. Oh. Só isso? Ah. Hum. Aí como é costume para esse tipo de jogo, a gente tem o códice. Aí no códice vai registrando os arquivos de texto, as conversas, as nossas escolhas, a explicação do mundo de Dragon Age pra gente conhecer mais, caso você não tenha jogado nenhum Dragon Age até hoje. Em termos de história e companheiros, Dragon Age Origins é o melhor. Tá. Em termos de gameplay, não, mas em termos de história e desenvolvimento de personagens, de longe ele é o melhor, tá? Mas de longe, filhote. Who's with us? We're, uh, we're really in the fade. Land of raw magic, nightmares, and this, apparently. It's a lot to take in. Harding thought we should talk about what comes next. She's not wrong. But if you need a breather, can't hurt to look around first. Olha, eu ainda tô ganhando coisa ali, ó. Aqui é a árvore de habilidades. Ô, oh, louco, aí sim, hein? Aí sim. Beleza, vamos dar um rolê. supposed to go this way what do we do now what do we do Harding oh hey Rook uh, how's it going I should be asking you that I got you hurt this is a dangerous job everyone knew that signing on there's so much to do we have to keep going. A 
Are you sure you're all right? Maybe you should rest. Yes, Rook. I'm fine. This is nothing. I'm just a little dizzy. I'll walk it off. Or something. Harding, you can't just... Oh, yeah? Watch me. We need to get back to the ritual site, don't we? Let's stop worrying about me and go do that. Come get me when you're ready to go. Eu vou torar essa hard em pesado, guri. Fazer igual aqueles frangos de máquina, guri. Você é louco. Vai girar. Wisps. Figures are in the fate, but I swear they're following me. You all right? Strange place you've fallen into, but I'll work with it. You know me. Uh, do I? I know Varric wanted you for the job. You know the same about me. It's a start. I'm not sure stopping a ritual is the best way to meet someone. So much for first impressions. Here's hoping I'm better on the second. Well, you're not bad so far. You take a lot of notes. What about? Lately, what we know or knew before Solus changed the game. And it's... Not much. I'm sure Lace would hate to hear that, but one step at a time. We'll figure this out. I'm sure of it. Really? Do you know something I don't? No, we just... Well... Well, we have to, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the job. Bom, aqui vai ser a nossa nossa base, onde os NPCs que a gente for juntando no nosso grupo, quando a gente for recrutando novos integrantes, eles vêm pra cá. E aí, a cada missão completa, so, we stopped the ritual. tem que fazer isso aqui. And Varric paid the price. Hey, Varric made his choice to go talk with Solus. He knew the risks. We all did. And now Solus is gone. And we're here. Wherever here is. Besides in the Fade. Solus called it the Lighthouse. He did? When? Sorry. It was while I was unconscious. Solus appeared in my dream. Really? I'm glad you're alright. From what I saw, he's trapped in the Fade now. Not here, but some kind of prison. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Solus can speak with people in their dreams. Even kill them. He said our connection wasn't strong enough for him to do that. He could only reach me because I bled at the ritual site when I got banged up. So Solus is using blood magic? Like any normal mage would to play with your mind? But he's not a normal mage, like I told you. He's an elven god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make him a god. I don't care about the philosophy. In terms of his power against ours, he's a god. All right, well, we've stopped the ritual and there doesn't seem to be an immediate danger. For now. You're certain Solus can't use blood magic to affect your mind? I'm not certain of anything. But we're not out of danger. What do you mean? Solus had two of the other elven gods imprisoned. When he got trapped, they escaped. So those things we saw come out of the Fade when the ritual went wild, those are... Elganarn and Gilanain, two of the ancient elven gods that Solus rebelled against. They're free because of us. They're free because of Solus. Lace is right. If we hadn't stopped that ritual, countless people would be dead. I know. But still... They're out there now. Okay. Then we find them, and we stop them. Solus says Elganarn and Gilanane drew on the Blight for power and became corrupted. That was when he imprisoned them. So instead of one... God running around, we have two. And they're not just powerful, they're blighted. We need to get out there and stop them. Just like that. 
without Varric, and you're still getting back on your feet. I'm fine. We can't just sit here and do nothing. We need to investigate. Figure out what we're dealing with before we rush in and make things worse. And how many more people will get hurt, get killed, while we spend time investigating? If Elganarn and Gilanane are worse than Solus, we don't have time to waste. We need to act now. We don't know what they can do or what they want. We don't even know if Solus is telling the truth. I'm not saying we go in blind. This time, if we see a shot, we take it. All right. The last place we saw them was the ritual site. The Alluvian took us here from the ritual site, instead of back to Minrathis. Then let's hope it takes us back. Harding, you okay to go? I'm not going to sit back while elven gods destroy the world because I have a headache. All right then. Let's get back to the ritual site. The Alluvian has its own special room. It's just down the stairs. For all we know, there's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that alluvian. If it even takes us back to Arlefin. <sighs> Hardy, you sure you're up for this? I'm fine. Well then. Shall we? Let's do this. It's quiet. Well, isn't that a surprise? There's the ritual site. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. Right, let's take a look around and see if we can find... Strife? Irlin? It's me, Lace Harding. Harding? What are you doing back in Arlathan? It's complicated. I can see that. Rook, Nev, this is Strife and Irlin. Varric and I met them when we first started hunting down Solus. They're veil jumpers, experts in ancient elven magic. Hardly experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. I'm sorry, Tarith. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. A bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This is because of Finn Harrell's... Sorry. Solus's ritual, isn't it? You all were supposed to stop him. Didn't see you volunteering. We put our lives on the line to stop Solus, and we stopped him. And we've got the scars to prove it. Sky's not ripping itself apart anymore, is it? All right. You stopped Solus. So why is Arleth the neck deep in wild magic? Solus was dragged into the Fade when we interrupted his ritual. But something else got out. Someone else, supposedly. Elganarn and Gilanane. Mithalanest. Two of the elven gods of old. The Evanuris. Shit. If they're back in the world, that explains a lot. 
Anything you can tell us about these gods? Solus might be a bastard, but compared to the Evanuris, let's just say they weren't known for being kind rulers. There's a reason Solus led a rebellion against the Evanuris, and a reason he imprisoned them. But now they've escaped. Tarith is in bad shape. We need to get him back to the camp. We've still got dozens of Veil Jumpers unaccounted for. How can we help? We need to find Belara Luter. She's the best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. And also at blowing them up. She was off looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this wild magic and the artifact it's setting off, it'll be her. Right. Then you two get your friend back to your camp and we'll... <laughs> we'll find Ballara. Harding, you're injured. Stay here with the Veil Jumpers. I can help. I know you want to, but we don't know what we'll face out there, and you're in no condition to fight. Okay, fine. I'll stay. We'll meet you back at the Veil Jumper camp. It's just south of here. Bellara's out near some elven ruins to the west. At least she was three days ago. I'd start your search there. Good luck, Rook. And thank you. E, bom, jovens, então é isso. Essa foi a primeira hora do novo Dragon Age. E aí, curtiram o que viram? Sim, não, comenta aí. E não briguem nos comentários, tá? Pelo amor de Deus. Não briguem. Conversem. Tenham opiniões diferentes e discutam essas opiniões sem xingar, irmão. Lembra? Quando a gente conversava sem xingar? Pois é, vamos tentar resgatar isso novamente. Não briguem. Não briguem. Conversem sobre. Valeu, falou. Até mais. So that suit of armor is moving. There's a problem. Belara? Belara Luter. Strife and Irulin sent us to find you. Who are you, exactly? Call me Rook. Nev Gallus. Wait! I know that name! But... Protocol is to wait a full week before they send anyone out to look for me? I've only been gone three days. Well, the situation's changed. For the worse, unfortunately. The elven gods Elganan and Gilanane have escaped from Fenharel's prison. And it seems like they want to destroy the world. Oh, yes, that is very much for the worse. Okay, wait. I need a second. It's a lot to take in. It does sort of explain a few things, though. Like what exactly? The surge of raw magic in the area. These artifacts started waking up a while ago, but in fits and starts. One here, a couple there. Then, a couple of days ago, the sky split open. And now, raw magic. Thick as fog. Only a god, or gods, could have done that. There's something kind of exciting about it. And dangerous. Really dangerous. Dangerous enough that I was going to head back to the Veil Jumper camp, but... But what? See that shimmer? That's a veil bubble. It's separating us from the rest of the real world, so to speak. You can only pass through it one way. Once you're in, you can't get out. We don't have time for this. Let's just force our way out. Oh, I wouldn't do that. I don't know what contacting that much raw magic would do to you. But there's another way. A bubble like that? 
There has to be something at the center that's generating it. Something powerful. If we can find it and remove it safely, I mean, the bubble itself should collapse. And then we're back in reality? I sure hope so. Well then, let's get going.